Hi, I just woke up and today I decided that I will not waste this day. I will be productive. And this video is a testament that I keep my promises. Will she keep her promise? Watch till the end to find out and for a message. I'm finally done with showering, but right now, contact lens. This is a consequence of me not wanting to wear my glasses all the time when my minus was still small. Because I don't really like how I look with my glasses. Personally, not a big fan of it. And I also don't really like how glasses makes my nose really tired at the end of the day. So I'm just gonna stick with context. Okay, please hear me out. I know it's really scary to put a foreign object into your eyeball. The very first time I wear them, I took two freaking hours. But once I got over that initial fear, it's so easy. Like now, I literally took like less than 30 seconds for a contact lens. And even 30 seconds itself, it's already considered pretty long for me. Ooh. Here we go, HD vision. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is pack my bag, which I'm supposed to be doing last night, not today, but it's okay, let's go. First, there's this GDC calculator that I have to use or else I can't do math without it. A second calculator for the simple math. This is my glasses, just in case my contact suddenly burns my eye and I have to take my glasses. Oh my, what is this? There's a piece of paper in my bag. What is this? Uh, it's my IB exam schedule. <laughs> and then next, my stationery. I don't have a pencil case. I mean, it doesn't fit my bag, so I can put it in this tiny pocket in front. A 750 milliliter water bottle because your brain gets dumber when you don't drink water when you study. And a hairbrush because my hair gets really messy quickly. I guess this is it? Oh wait, no, I forgot one more thing. How can I forget this? Counterpane. A multi-purpose hot cream for headaches, muscle pain, and back pain. So yeah, this is a very very not aesthetic what's in my bag. Can you believe that I've been going to the same school since I was in first grade in elementary school and now I'm a senior? So it's been 12 years, like, oh my gosh, I've been living here my whole life. Weather is so hot. Love promotion. Since we are like about two weeks away from the final IB exams, we don't actually have classes. It's more like we come to school for extra classes with teachers that we've booked appointments with. My school looks better on camera. And I'm entering the library. Welcome to my school library. So my library is probably my second favorite spot in my school. My favorite is the health center, if you know, you know. Our librarian, Mr. Nicholas, he's really nice. I always ask him for candy and he would always give me candy. I'm going all the way to the edge because over there it's the most quiet and it's right beside the garden so that's a great plus. And there's this whole circle of tables and this is where I'm gonna study. I opened my math paper, my phone fainted. And I want to faint too. If success is what you want to achieve, then you gotta be prepared for all the hard work, for all the tireless, sleepless nights, for all the moments where you feel like you just want to play your phone. You gotta sacrifice them all because hard work pays off in the end. Yes, you gotta leave your house, leave your family, leave your belongings, and go for that success. Work as hard as you can until your backbone wants to crack. A wise man once said, you are what you eat. If you eat a burger, then you are a burger. If you don't wake up at 2 a.m. to do your work, then you're doing it wrong. You see me? 
I wake up at 1 a.m. every day to do work. This math problem may be hard, but my willingness to success is way harder than that. I'm done. I mean, I'm taking a break. I'm sorry for that, my school bell's really loud. But yeah, right now I'm walking to the canteen because I want to grab myself a snack, but I ended up just buying a strawberry milk because I don't really know what to buy. Hello. <laughs> I'm about to have my early math extra class. Of course, since it's an extra class, then I didn't really record anything inside. For like almost two hours, me and my math teacher got stuck on a problem. I swear, sometimes the graphic display calculator is confusing. And then after we're done practicing, our conversation elevated to talking about God, about fate, destiny, life, passion. It was suddenly so deep, but honestly, I love it. After the extra class with a lengthy deep talk with my math teacher, I went out with two of my friends. Hello! So we're gonna go to... Where? Lipok. Lipok, yes. <laughs> it was like so hot this morning, but now the sky is so sad. Hi. For those of you from Jakarta, Indonesia, Di Lipo Mall Puri ada Bow Bakery. Ini sih enak banget. Dia itu jualan sandwich, makanan Itali sama Prancis gitu. Tapi paling enak sih sandwichnya. After we have eaten, we decided to go to Sociola, which is a place for all the cosmetics and all the face care, skin care. Look, this is embarrassing, but I'm a beginner for cosmetics and makeup. Like, I just found out today that there's a different mascara for eyelashes and eyebrows. I ended up buying an anti-pore and anti-acne face mask for 60,000 rupiah or 4 US dollars. Also for those of you in Jakarta, Indonesia, di sini tuh ada cafe baru namanya Milky Way. Cafe-nya sih lumayan keren, lumayan unik kayak kita bisa duduk di tangga gini. Terus konsepnya itu kayak futuristic gitu. Di sini jualan makanan Jepang sama minuman sama dessert-dessert gitu. Kita duduk di atas karena di bawah penuh dan sebenarnya agak ngeri juga sih kayak takut jatuh gitu. Nah, I wouldn't recommend you to eat di atas kalau di sini karena di atas itu agak terlalu dekat sama speakernya, jadi kayak sedikit berisik gitu. Look, my friend's drink is really pretty, and I ordered cold chocolate. My friend also ordered this wow chocolate toast. And after that, I didn't really record anything else in the mall, cause as you know, crowds really drain me, and I got really tired. So it's already 9.30 p.m. I bought this new mask. But before that, first thing I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna wash my face first. You know, just some kind of pro tip. Like me, maybe you feel insecure about your skin. People in social media, they look like they have perfect skin or something. Come on. It's fake. Like, even me right now, on camera, it might look like my face is sort of clean, but actually, in reality, my face is really full of acne, like, even worse than right now, like, way worse. So, what you see in social media is kind of, like, really different than in real life. That's just one thing to keep in mind. It's really natural. It's like, you know, a cough or a fever or a flu. Like, everybody has those sometimes. While I wear my mask, I start to reflect on today, especially on my early morning promise of I will not waste this day. I will be productive. And when I think about it, I actually did not fulfill that promise. I wasn't as productive as I expected myself to be. But honestly, I ask myself, why was I so fixated in being productive? Okay, I know, I be exams, but I noticed that living my days will be more than just being so productive, grinding over a goal again and again. They say life is not a race, it's a marathon. But to think about it, why can't we consider it as a walk in the park? We get too fixated on that marathon, on grinding, on working so hard, that we forget to be mindful of all the beautiful little moments that life has given to us. 
Sure, I didn't really study physics today, which is what I planned to do. I wasn't as productive today, but I was able to hang out with my friends in the mall and listen to my teacher share a really inspiring story and reflect on how my day went by recording this vlog. Looking back at it, I will never want to trade these things for a quote-unquote productive study day. I mean, will you?